wind up versus Christopher Cameron. Two, three, two, three, six, two. And counsel? Attorney Corey Westmoreland appearing on behalf of Mr. Cameron. Mr. Cameron, would you please state your name for the record? Uh, yes, Christopher C. Cameron. Okay. And um, today's, uh, well, there's a couple matters. There's some pending matters. And then your client was arrested last night. And so it's all these matters, counsel. Yes, Your Honor. At this time, we are prepared to waive a formal reading. My client stands here. For a way the formal reading, enter plea of not guilty for purpose of the arraignment. And we'll schedule these matters for pretrial on November 21st. Guilty plea on all these matters, November 21st at 9.45 a.m. Your Honor. Yes. Um, the 2020 and 2021 charges, I'm pleading not guilty to. You're pleading not guilty to all of them today. Okay. Just yeah, wanted I, don't to I don't have any charges from 2020 or 2021. Unless, are there? I guess I was misinformed by my counsel. Okay. All right, counsel asked to bond in these matters. Yes, Your Honor, I, I would uh, like you to know that uh, Mr. Cameron currently uh, is not working. He's uh, eagerly looking for uh, employment. Uh, after speaking with him, he did assure me that he would be appearing at all future court dates. The two prior charges he was unaware of, uh, it's kind of potentially sounded like there may have been a mistake in identity, um, but moving forward, uh, he did assure me that he will be appearing uh, on November 21st for these three cases. I, I would like you to know that he did go to, uh, he did attend the University of Michigan uh, from 2007 to 2011. And uh, he was living in Florida between uh, 2020 and uh, 2021. Uh, taking that all into account, Judge, I would respectfully request consideration for a personal bond on behalf of Mr. Cameron. Okay, Mr. Cameron. Yes, Your Honor. Currently, you currently live in Ann Arbor? No, um, I moved on July 29th. I moved to Southgate to coach at Mills Gymnastics. Um, I unfortunately lost that job about a month ago. Okay. And, uh, and does your identification have your address on State Street? Uh, no. In Ann Arbor? I have an ID. I don't have a Michigan ID. You don't have a Michigan ID? No. And I actually don't even have that. I lost my wallet um, a few weeks ago. Well, sir, I'm sir, I'm showing that you have a state ID. It was issued November of 2016. And the address that you have, sir, uh, is where we set the prior offenses. You have an offense from September 13th of this year, September 29th, and now this matter. And the previous matters from September were mailed to you at the address we had on file. However, um, we were notified by University of Michigan Athletics that you're not a current student or employee because the address on file um, is to a building on the University of Michigan campus. Yes, um, it was my, I was a gymnast at the University of Michigan and I used that address in 2016. It's my uh, coach's office. 
but I don't have that Michigan uh, ID, and I was unaware that I ever did have a Michigan ID. So, um, here's where yeah. the court's concern yeah. is, counsel, is that your client is claiming he lives in Southgate. On his documentation, he wrote homeless. We have information that he, um, that he resides in a building in the University of Michigan. Well, that's the address he provided. There's apparently a bench warrant out for your client's arrest out of the 15th district court for an incident that occurred at University of Michigan back in 2016, two of those on two different dates. Sir, you were a gymnast at the University of Michigan? Yes, ma'am. What years, sir, were you there? I was there from seven to 2011. So then why would you still be utilizing that address in 2016? Uh, I moved back to Ann Arbor in 2015 um, to finish some remaining credits for my bachelor's degree. Okay. Sir, in reviewing the police reports, um, which all involve alcohol, a lot of it, I have some concerns for your safety. <clears throat> yes, what are, your matters out of the what are the matters out of the 28th district court? That I I didn't understand the question, Your Honor. What is your matter that's pending out of Southgate? Southgate, um, I am unaware of any charge out of Southgate right now. Police report indicated you had some um, some warrants, sir, out of Southgate. I am unaware. Okay. Of Here's what this court's going to do. This court. is going to make sure we're taking this address out of the system because this is not a valid address for you. The court will note that you um, what, that you uh, are homeless in essence because that's what you can indicate on your documentation. The court will also note that your matter from September 13th, it's alleged you have a 2.25 breath alcohol content. The matter from September 23rd or 29th alleges a 0.36 alcohol content. And now the incident from yesterday alleges a 0.29 alcohol content. Sir, it's a wonder that you are still able to walk around, quite frankly. The court's going to order a $5,000, 10% bond in each of these matters, as the court has concerns for defendant safety, as well as the ability for the defendant to appear in court as he does not have any known address in this local area and the address that was previously provided is for an athletic building at the University of Michigan where there appear to be two warrants out for his arrest out of the 15th district court. <clears throat> in the event you post bond, sir, you are not to be released without an alcohol tether, an alcohol and GPS tether to the Wayne County Jail. Okay. All right, anything else, counsel? Uh, not at this time, Judge. All right, thank you. Have a good day.
All right, we're on the record in the matter of the city of Wyandotte versus Daniel Libke, 232363. And appearance council? Attorney Corey Westmoreland, appearing on behalf of Mr. Lipke. Mr. Lipke, would you please state your name for the for the record? Yes, Daniel Lipke. All right. And counsel asked to the arraignment. Yes, Your Honor. At this time, we are prepared to waive a formal reading. My client stands mute. The court will waive the formal reading. Enter a plea of not guilty for purposes of the arraignment. Schedule this matter for pretrial November 21st at 10 15 a.m. And counsel asked to sign. Yes, Your Honor. I would like you to know that Mr. Lipke is currently living in Taylor. He's 33 years old, single male. Uh, he's not currently on probation or parole. He doesn't have any other pending matters that he's aware of. And after speaking with him at length this morning, he did assure me that uh, he would be appearing at all future court dates. So I would just respectfully request that all that information be taken into account. Sir, are you currently on probation or parole anywhere? I'm sorry? Are you currently on probation or parole anywhere? No, I'm not. You matter out of the Third Circuit Court from 2019 that's been closed? It's been closed, yes. What about the matter from April of 2023 in Taylor? What happened with that? And where? Out of Taylor? You had a matter, public peace issue? Oh yeah, that that uh, I had uh, taken care of. Okay, I what? How did you take care of that? In jail time. Okay. Sir, if you were to test today, what's in your system? If I were to be tested, it would be what I got uh, caught up with last night, uh, the, the ice and uh, Adderall. Ice, crystal meth? Yes, ma'am. All right. And where do you work? Um, right now I'm not working, but I'm supposed to be starting a roofing job here soon within the next week. And um, is that with the company or yourself? Uh, through a friend of mine. It's his company. Okay. And so who do you live with, sir? A friend. I'm living at a friend's house. Friend? Does that friend have a name? Uh, yes, Josh Knox. Okay. And um, you don't have any children that you support? No, I do not, ma'am. Okay, so you're living in a friend's house, you're not working, you're getting food stamps. When's the last time you're employed, sir? I would say about two months ago. <coughs> have you ever failed to appear in court before, sir? Oh, I always come with my court date. Okay. And um, do you have a do you have um do you have a girlfriend or fiance or no? I have a girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Where does your what city does your girlfriend live in? Does it wind up with her mom and dad? Okay, sir, the court's going to order. I'm here, Your Honor. You know, I, I understand that, ma'am. I don't have you identified for the record. I was just trying to get some identifying information. Thank you. You know, to possess and consume any alcohol or drugs must prescribe. The court's going to order a $5,000, 10% bond in this matter. Or perhaps that will be motivation for you to comply with this court's order and not use any, any alcohol or drugs. We'll see you back on November 21st. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Have a good day.